Hello everyone in YouTube land. Um, this is an interesting little something. I kind of just want to do this video on my own. <laughs> no one has asked this, but I, it was something I've not played with in a long time. And I think they've really perfected it here in recent years is the lens flare tool in Adobe Premiere Pro. I mean, it's the CC uh, 2015 version you can see up here. That's what I'm using. And, and you know, I've used it from time to time, not so much, but it really is a splendid, beautiful uh, little little effect. I'm going to put in L-E-N-S here, and I think it should pop up. Lens flare down here at the bottom. There are different, you know, lens settings here that will come up first, but look for lens flare. I'll tell you what I want to do. I'm going to show you a little bit of the video they have. I'm just going to kind of scrub across it a little. Here's some uh, video that Jamie Hastings shot just recently for me, flying over up to the top of Mineral Springs Mountain. And, you know, it's a dramatic enough video. It's beautiful. Uh, eventually, it swings around over here to the right, and it looks down toward Valdez. Let's see if I can find the place where that happens. It starts swinging right along in there. So, let's say I want to make this even more dramatic, though, like, like the sun is coming up, or the sun is over here, and there's a massive lens flare. Just one of those real dramatic-type shots. What I've done, I've split this piece of video right here where I'd kind of like the sun to start coming in if I were to create such an effect. So this is a lens flare, and I'm, I know I'm using it for sort of like a solar look, but this is this is kind of one of the cool things you can do with this. It's just a good demo of how it works. So I'm going to click on my clip where I've made the, um, the cut. I'm going to drag the lens flare onto this, and immediately you'll see a really kind of cool looking lens flare. Maybe I would like for this to be the sun, right? So uh, I am in the editing 5.5 CS 5.5 view here. You can get these various different views at the top, but that's the one that I'm in up here. And so what I've got here in my effects controls, you might have something like this open. You go to your effects controls or whatever, though. Click on the, the uh, file you're trying to edit. And so I'm going to go ahead and just click on Lens Flare, and I'm going to click Flare Center, the little toggle button here. Flare Brightness. I might do blend with original as well. Um, uh, these are all those things. I'm not going to change the type. You, you can see here you can change the kind of flare that you have. Uh, you get 35 millimeter prime, 105 millimeter prime. I kind of liked that first one at 50 to 30 millimeter. So let's go ahead. I'm going to stick with that. And you see here when I'm clicked on this, you have a button. Or a little toggle thing over here, a little arrow that shows where your lens flare is going to originate. I'm going to click on that and drag it. I kind of like for my sun, my fake sun, to come up right here in this notch. So I'm going to do that right there. And maybe right as I begin the flare, I don't want it to be at 100%, right? I kind of want it to sn sneak in on me. I'm going to say maybe 60% right here at this point. So it's going to be like that, right? And I'm going to advance forward a little bit. And let's let that thing get to 100% right here. 100. Hit tab. And you'll see it puts a little keyframe in there. Now, the camera has moved, so my son needs to move too. At this point, I'm going to grab right there. I'm going to pull that up just a little higher. Like that. I kind of want to stay, like I say, in that notch. This may or may not turn out great. I don't know. It depends on how patient you want to be with me as we work on this. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. At this point, you know, maybe I pull the sun down just a little bit more. We want this to kind of change over time. And what's happening, all the lens flare stuff here is moving in uh, relation to where I put this dot. Uh-oh. I did it the wrong way, didn't I? I, I, I Control Z. Grab the wrong thing here. There we go. I want my sun to be right along in here again. Okay. Let's keep on moving forward a little bit more. Again, let's move just a little bit more. It has to stay in the same place. Okay. Move forward just a wee bit more. Uh, 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 look at this. Look at this. The sun is going down into the valley. We can't have that. It has to move up again. It has to move up again some more. Move forward a few more. 
Lens flare. It's kind of painstaking sort of thing to make it look real. But that's the challenge, isn't it? Making it look real. So at this point, I would say our lens flare is actually off the map. And this baby needs to be like way off screen here, like this. And at this point, I'm going to say uh, lens flare brightness. Let's move forward just a couple more frames. And click one more time. Uh -oh, actually, I need to go back. I'm going to go back to right about here, maybe. I'm going to put a uh, flare brightness keyframe in right here. I want this to start fading out. And at this point, maybe my flare brightness is going down to like 30%. <clears throat> and then on over here, it's down to 0%. All right. Now we've got a, fl a <laughs> flare creating an artificial sun. And I'm, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to let this fade in. I don't want it to be something that starts just super abruptly here. It goes from nothing to all of a sudden it's there. So I'm going to do a, a C-R-O-S-S -S over here for cross dissolve. And right there is cross dissolve. I'm going to cross dissolve these two together. I'm going to save this. And then we're going to render it out and take a look and see how it turned out. Thank <laughs> you.